preface this with my Joe, my brilliant former live-in boyfriend, who if he had had his way would have become my husband, but better that it didn't happen. I knew me, I knew him. It wasn't going to work. Of 25 plus years, the world is insane. Nobody uses reasoning anymore. And people are constantly, constantly engaged in bogus arguments that are not supported by facts, but are merely supported by emotions, okay? Before my mom gets home, I am going to give you a perfect example of this. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to do it before she gets home. But if not, I'll just cut it off. All right. This may or may not be true, it doesn't matter, okay? Hypothetically speaking, it is a fact, and none of you can deny this, I don't have to live here. There could be any number of reasons I don't want to live here. Perhaps she has friends who come over who I can't stand, but I can't stop her from having them. Perhaps there are certain non-friends in her life who are treat. Oh my, get over here! Get over here now! Get on that couch. Who are treating me badly. Could be any number of things. I don't remember if I told you guys, but a few months ago, several months ago, before the hotel thing, my mom snapped out of it. My mom wasn't doing that great. And she wanted someone to move in here. And I couldn't stop her. And Selena was like, oh my God. Like She wanted a strange, not a, someone she barely knew, a woman, because that woman would, would, and I'm like, Mom, we don't have enough room. It doesn't matter. Sleep on the couch. She'll, she has a car, Laura. She'll give us $500 a month. I don't care if she gives us a million dollars a month, Mom. Like Selena said, you get someone in here. You, you, they, uh. Anyway, that's an example. But then I don't want to meet this woman. And I don't mind meeting the woman, but I, I, you know, and she comes over early in the morning when I'm sleeping. My, my sick mother calls me rude for not getting up and meeting a total stranger when I'm in bed asleep at 8 o'clock in the morning. And then my mom, who's sick, is bad mouthing me through my closed bedroom, barricaded bedroom door. But the woman will go back and not say that I didn't engage in my mom intentionally. I didn't say one word. But the woman, there's too much tension in that house. I don't want to live there anyway. Get it? It's bullshit. Okay? Anyway, bogus argument, I don't have to live here if I don't want to, period. That is a given. That is indisputable in the eyes of the law, right? I don't have to live here. So, my mom is supposed to get cataract surgery, but is not able to put the drops in her own eyes. That's not my fault, is it? No, it's not. That's also indisputable. But somebody using a bogus argument would say, if I move out, when I know my mother needs me to put those drops in her eyes, which again, is not my fault. Maybe I need to get away for my sake of my own sanity or I'll wind up, I'll wind up breaking and I wouldn't be here to put the drops in her eyes anyway, right? Let's just use our own reasoning here. Mine's based on reasoning that like Joe says, nobody knows how to reason anymore. People use bogus arguments. So if you turn around and say, well, you're abandoning your mother, you're a horrible daughter. That's a bogus argument. It's not based on fact, okay? It's not based on fact at all understand? Because there could be any number of reasons I'm, quote, abandoning my mother, unquote, all right? And maybe she wants a break as well. Maybe she doesn't want, uh, we have circumstances where she doesn't want to, after she had to be chained, and I had to be chained, and four drops, four times a day, drops, 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 we can't do anything in the summertime. Maybe she wanted to postpone her second surgery, since the drops just run out, and then she's already supposed to get the next one. But certain professionals in her life may or may not have who have may or may not have ulterior motives will turn around and not just as, as somebody regular would say, oh, that's not very nice of you. They'll turn around and use it as an argument that I'm like harming my mother in some way. You get it? It's a bogus argument. I don't have to live here. It's not my fault. She can't put the drops in her own eyes. Okay? Get it? Those are called bogus arguments based on emotion, not based on fact. Not even remotely based on fact, okay? And it's her right to cancel or postpone, rather, that cataract surgery. It's not the end of the world. You understand? It's not the end of the world. But again, 
people with ul ulterior motives will automatically, oh, you're stopping your mom from getting a medical procedure. You're a horrible person. You need your mother. You know what I mean? That's a bogus fucking argument. And you know damn well the types of people in this existence who intentionally engage in those bogus arguments for their own sick, twisted purposes. Okay? My mother's not going to die if she postpones her cataract surgery. She could get sick and have to postpone it. It's not the end of the world, all right? It isn't the end of the world. Hypothetically speaking. I want you guys to realize, though, how sick people are. They don't use reasoning anymore. There's bogus arguments based solely on a pure emotion, all right? It's pure emotion. There are things I, as a human being, do not have to do. Right? And to be accused of harming my mother when I choose to not do certain things is a bogus argument because I don't have to live here at all. I could have moved out long before anything, and then what would you say? She'd have to find some other way to put the drops in her eyes or some other way to do this or that, right? Am I right or wrong here? I, people who use those bogus arguments just make me puke. Like Joe says, nobody has, engages in reasoning anymore. No one even knows how to think or how to reason. It's pure emotion, all right? It's instant reaction. You're a horrible daughter. You're stopping your mom from getting a medical procedure. You know, you, you need to, she needs to be removed from the home or some bullshit, okay? Meanwhile, it's not going to kill her to postpone it. She didn't like being chained in the summertime and having to get four drops every, you know, every, you can't do anything, you know? She has every right to postpone it, but you know there are going to be people, I won't elaborate, who are going to drill her and try to blame it all on me. Why, why would she postpone? Because in your eyes, she doesn't have any feelings or any emotions, and that's it, and she's just a little, you're a little, yes sir, no sir, human, you know? That's why. My mother and I are allowed to come to agreements that are none of anyone's goddamn fucking business. You understand? Anybody, including any of the so-called professionals in her life, none of their business. My mother is allowed to say, I don't want to have that cataract surgery for personal reasons, and no one's supposed to drill her. They are not supposed to drill her. They are supposed to drop it, okay? It's none of their goddamn fucking business, period. Period, people. Period. Hypothetically speaking. Not if, people, if my mom has autonomy. You know, they don't have to have legal power over her. Or they just, people just, because she's so, you know, meek and mild and the people can walk all over her. But, you know, there are people who can walk all over her and she thinks they're her friends, thinks they like her. Oh, they like her just fine unless she dares question them about anything. And then the claws come out, which proves what I'm trying to say to her all along, you know? It's all bullshit, okay? It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. You just don't even know the kind of memoir I could write, including about all those mental hospitals. My, what I see so clearly, some of you don't rem might remember this example, most of you don't, and plus I have new fans all the time. But just, just really let this sink in, okay? Let it sink in. My mother lands in the emergency from a mental hospital, right? This doctor has put her on new medications, Haldol and Gabapentin, okay? She lands in the emergency. Nobody knows why, but I, of course, am going to be, use my deductive reasoning, even though I can't prove it, and I say it to nurses, I say it to doctors, I say it to cases, I say it to anybody, you know, come on. She lands in the emergency a couple of days after she's put on these high dosages of these new to her medications. You think it, that's a coincidence, you know? But that's not the sad part, okay? That is not the sad part. The sad part is she gets into the hospital, sees a hospital psychiatrist who has equal rank with a regular mental hospital psychiatrist, right? He takes her off the hospital immediately, okay? Immediately. But he also cuts her gabapentin dosage in half and does something else or whatever, right? Actually, he puts her on a new medication. So, my mom is gushing to me 
you know, she's on this new med, she's all happy, I'm, I'm smart, I, I, I know the system by now, mom, these motherfucking psychiatrists are so arrogant, once you're out of this doctor's care and back in that mental hospital, in his care, he has control over you, he's not going to follow with that, oh yes he will, Lord, yes he will, mm -mm. it was a weekend, she spent like, a, I think a couple of few, she didn't spend that long at that regular hospital, okay, under the care of a new psychiatrist, who can make recommendations but has no power to control the mental hospital doctor, does he? No. And I can see it so clearly, but I, what am I going to do? I say it to my mom, I'm crushing her dreams. You're wrong, you're wrong. She gets back in that mental hospital over the weekend. The nurses notice how well she's doing, okay? How well she's doing, because I had been noticing how she was a freaking zombie, slurring her words and whatnot, okay? Laura, the nurses are saying how well they think. Yeah, Mom, and Monday, your doctor's going to do what he wants to do. Lo and behold, who was right and who was wrong here? The doctor kept her off the hall, doll, but he taunted her, and she tried to argue with him, and she had to back down because she has, she's a little girl who has no power, okay? They have all the power, these psychiatrists. That's what Peter Brain, you know? Oh, psychiatrist. Toxic psychiatry. You know, he talks about all this shit. He's more afraid, you know, someone came up with that, not him, but one of somebody said, I'm more afraid of the something. I don't forget, like the absolute power in the psychiatrist's eyes compared to the absolute, it, whatever. It's the point is, you know, you're allowed to do it. But anyway, she's going to be home soon. He did exactly what I predicted because I am so fucking smart and Selena can vouch for this. There are certain people in her life, including, of course, her hopefully gone forever sister um as in out of our lives permanently only because we accidentally found out enough crap that she finally woke up to the truth finally okay i'm smart i can predict shit even in movies and stuff i can predict shit okay i'm really intuitive i'm really smart and that's it he did exactly as i predicted and exactly as I predicted, as soon as he did that, but he also said, you know, Samantha, there are people on three times as much as this gabapentin. Okay, just go away, bug. I own you, and that's it. I'm going to do what I want. And lo and behold, what happened after that? She was all slurring her words and all over-medicated again. I rest my case. He took her off the hall, doll, but he kept her on that, that same dosage of gabapentin because they're, these people are arrogant beyond belief. Most of them, these, most of these psychiatrists, I'm sorry. I speak the truth. If you don't realize it, then I pity you, okay? Um, I have so many examples of this, all right? But also, he, um, the doctor in there had intentionally took her off of, like, I think off of Zyprex or an added Remron. I don't know. I'm just making shit up, but it's something. I, don't, I can't remember every pill from top man she's been on, okay? Every medication. I have it all written down somewhere for my future book or memoir. But so let's say he took her off of Zyprexa, put her on Remron, right? Or he, but what this doctor did, he didn't take her off the Zyprexa and he kept her on the Remron. So she exits the mental hospital on more meds technically than when she went in. The only thing he did, the only thing was take her off that fucking hell doll. I rest my goddamn fucking case, people. But I want you to remember what I said. Her gushing to me, her all happy, and me knowing she's going to be all sad again in the future. Her going to that hospital on the weekend when the, the arrogant fuck wasn't there and gushing to me again. That, oh, my God, Laura. And I have it on voicemail. I save everything. I save all her voicemails, okay? I have it documented, everything. Laura, the nurses say I sound so great. Yeah, Mom, come Monday. Your doctor's going to put you right back on what he wants you on. And lo and behold, who is yet again right in this world? I rest my case. That's just one example, people. One I could write a fucking book.